welcome to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. First, I'm very sorry for being so late to upload my videos. Now let's move forward with the first day setup of our hydroponic farm. Now here, this is the first day of setting up our hydroponic farm. Here, there is a saying that if the base is strong, the structure is always strong and, it's, and it stands still from any environmental conditions. So here, what we have done is, before we go ahead and install our polyhouse structure, we make sure that our foundation for the polyhouse has to be very, very strong. So these people in polyhouse uh, construction, they always say that only make foundation of around 2.5 to 3 feet uh, foundations. But I would rather suggest go with 3 by 4 feet foundation so that your structure that is rock solid. Uh, I'll just show you the video for the same, how we are doing that. As you can see here, this big gap that we have made here, that is for the foundation that we'll be making for the polyhouse structure to stand on it. So always make sure that you make a very strong uh, base here for your polyhouse structure so that it can withstand any kind of uh, climatic conditions that is related to wind or breeze or anything because if the foundation is not very strong. Your polyhouse can go left and right because of the high speed of the wind. So make sure that you have a very strong foundation here. So we have used here the, uh, what we call this as a kind of uh, tractor with a Burma, which helps us out to uh, make a big foundation gaps and it's very easy to make foundation base with the help of this uh, tractor and this equipment and before uh, this is being done the people who install our uh, structures they actually mark points where they need to make this and in the later stage of the video I'll show you how uh, perfect these people are to make the alignment at a very straight line to install the uh, structure onto it. So as you can see here, there is a white spot first and uh, on that white spot uh, marked on the ground, this equipment is actually making a big hole of size uh, three by four feet. And this size of three by four feet, that is three feet wide and four feet depth actually uh, really gives a very good hold to our uh, what we call as the uh, polyhouse structure that we are planning to install on this farm so let's move a little bit forward because they'll be just continuously making these holes here how clean they are doing it as you can see on the screen itself because we are using machines here we are not doing it with hands we are just simply using machines here to get a, a hold stand with the tractor and with this equipment so it takes approximately i would say around half an hour to make all holes for around approximately more than half an acre of land so it's very convenient to uh, make these holes for the foundation of a polyhouse. Let's move a little bit forward now. A 
Okay. Now, as the foundation is completed, after that, what we do is we fill the all holes with the concrete here, with cement, with all kind of stuff that is required to actually make the base of our poly house. So as you can see here, all the poles have been installed. These people, they are very much perfect with their skills and they know what has to be done to make our poly house structure rock solid and withstand any kind of breeze or any kind of air force that is being applied on a poly house. So they are very much expert with this, as you can see here on the screen itself, how they are doing it. And I'll also show you the alignment of the poles that they have installed. They are very laborious people and they really work very hard for all farmers who are planning to get into modern type of farming. Let's move a little bit forward so that I can show you the complete alignment, how they have done it. Okay. Now, as you can see here, all the poles have been installed properly. I'll show you the complete alignment here, how it has to be seen or how it has to be taken care of. And you can do it even yourself, by yourself, after they have installed all the poles. Because if there is any issue with the alignment of the poly house, there are chances your poly house can uh, actually demolish after you have a very high uh, wind in your area. So I'll just show you here. Now, just have a look here. You can just have a look here now. Okay, now just have a look here. You can see all the poles in one line itself. Again, I'll just show you here. See, it's complete one line here, this thing. It's complete one line. And again, this is the last one here, the uh, outer edge of our poly house. It's again the same way. They have installed in one single line. The alignment is perfect, I would say. So this was our first day setup of our poly house. So in case, if you need any kind of help for the same, you can just get back to us. We can help you out to even install your poly house at a very, uh, I would say, at a very reasonable cost with a complete setup of your hydroponic farming. Not very expensive, at a very reasonable cost so that emerging farmers can really do wonders in hydroponic farming because I want modern farmers to enter into this field so that our country remains a farming uh, agriculture country because our country is known for the agriculture skills that they are doing in this world. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Let's meet in our next video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.